What's up guys, my name is Pirani. Do you want to know how to make a character walk using Unity? In this video, I will show you 5 easy steps how to make this character walk moving left to right. Okay, so let's begin. Step 1. So let's place the character on the scene. So let's choose one of the sprites here. I will get the item 1. And that's it. This is our first step. Step two, we need to add a component. So for to make the character move, I will need a box collider 2D as we handle with 2D game, so this is more appropriate. So I will just resize it to look a little bit better. Perfect. Alright. Now I need also a rigid body 2D. Rigid body 2D. This is our body of our character. Perfect, this is step two. Step three, we need to add a script to our play. So I'll call player controller. Player controller. Now let's click two times to open. Okay, step four. So let's add a script. So first I need a variable public, variable type float. I'll call it speed, that's gonna be uh, the speed of our character. I also need to get the rigid body component, rigid body 2D. I call it RB. In the start method, I need to um, get the component. So RB equals get component rigid body 2D. So what that means is I am um, getting the component from our character, the rigid body we attached before in the previous uh, step to this variable RB. Okay, so now in the update method, actually, I'm going to use the fix a update. So fix it, update, update. This, if you check the Unity website, these are more recommended to work with rigid bodies. So float, move, uh, to variable type float, call move it, and this will get the input from our keyboard. So input dot get axis. I'll explain now. Um, horizontal. Perfect. What does that mean? Is if I press A or left, uh, the value of this variable is going to be minus one. And if I press D or right, this is going to be equals one. Okay. So now we need to add the velocity to our body. So RB dot velocity uh, equals a vector two, which gets two values new vector 2. First one is going to be the speed times uh, move. So base is going to be the, the speed we're going to set to our character times 1 or minus 1, depending on each key we're pressing. And for the y, we just leave the way it is, velocity.y. Perfect. Just don't forget to save it. And now it's done. Let's send for step 5. Perfect. Now step 5. After editing the script, we just need to add the values, don't forget it, and last time to test it. Perfect. If I read A or D or left or right arrow key, our character is moving. This is perfect. All right, so see only five easy steps to make your character move. Okay, so let's just recap everything. So step one, we added the sprite to our scene view. So we use uh, our character here. So um, step two, we add a box collider to detect collisions between the ground and our player. And we add a rigid body, the body of our player, and then do step two. Step three, we add the script. Step four, we edit the script. So we added this variable speed to get the speed of our character, to set the speed, rigid body, variable type rigid body to get the rigid body from our character. And then we use the fix update, which is better to you to work with um, rigid bodies. Um, float move to get the input from our keyboard using the axis horizontal. And then we add the velocity to our rigid body, RB the velocity using vector two. So multiplying the move by the speed. And the y axis we just leave the way it is. Okay, so now step five we added the values. So we set to ten and then just test it. Perfect. So easy, five steps to make our character move using Unity.
Okay guys, that's it for this video. Do you find it easy? If you don't understand something, I'll leave in the description below about the components you use, about the Freebox Collider, about the Ridge Body 2D, about the scripts. I'll leave the links from the Unity website. I would like to say thank you as well for watching this video. If you like this, please feel free to leave a like and share and subscribe because I want to bring more videos like this, more easy tutorials. And if you have any su suggestion and or feedbacks, just feel free to share in the comments below. Okay, thank you very much. See you soon.